Hello, Maurice. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Okay, perfect. I'm okay. I'm 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 good, you know. Um did you feel the earthquake? Yes. Oh my god, it was kind of uh, you know, it was strong, it's, right? It was a strong and lasted a long time. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, so I um well, but but you are okay, right? So everything is okay. Nothing yeah, happens. Yeah. Okay, that is good. That is good. Okay, perfect. Um, so what about your day, Maurice? How was your day? Good. So very, so. Very busy. It was very busy, really. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, was it busier than yesterday? Uh, was it? Busy? I don't hear. Was it busier I, than yesterday? Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. Was yeah. Was it busier than yesterday? Uh, yes. Is more busy. It was busy than yesterday. Uh -huh. Yes, I imagine. Okay, so well, but I mean. Today is Tuesday, tomorrow is Wednesday, we're almost on <laughs> Friday, we are in the midweek, right? So almost there, right, Mari? Yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah. Mayra, thank I you. Yes, I understand. Okay, so we also have Abigail. Good evening, Abigail. Uh, and okay, Mayra, it's okay. Don't worry, okay? So we're going to start with today's class. And basically today, guys, we're going to start with the following agenda. Okay, so today's agenda, we have the warm up and today we are going to start unit four, which is basically about loyalty. Okay, so today we're going to cover different information about loyalty. This is going to be the last unit, unit four, right? So it is going to be interesting. We also have listening quizzes and we have a reading quiz and we also have the speaking time. Okay, and the wrap up. All right, guys, so we're going to start with the warm up. And again, we are going to start with a simple past pronunciation. Yes, but th in this case, we have long sentences. All right. So let's see. Maurice, can you please help us reading number one and give us the correct pronunciation for this verb, the ED ending sound? Okay. Uh -huh. I worked. I worked <laughs> to the park yesterday. Okay, so in this case, no, it's not walk it. It is going to be no. walked. Walk. Okay, walk. ahora dígamela again, but in the correct way. Okay, I walked to the park yesterday. Perfect. I walked to the park walked. yesterday. Yes, walked. Walked. I to the park yesterday. Wow. Perfect. Thank you. Number two, uh, can you please read number two, uh, Abigail? She she played the piano. Be careful. Oh. Mm, D. D, right? So she played the piano beautifully. Yeah, beautifully. So beautifully means hermosamente. Beautifully. Yes, beautifully. It's an adverb. Yeah, beautifully. Um, all right. Uh, Maurice, help us with number three. They watch. A uh, movie last night. Okay, so it is they watched. They what? Uh, once yeah. again, watched. Yeah. What? Okay. They watched a movie last night. Perfect. Maurice, continue with number four. He. He. He could, 
cướp thích nợ nợ thì thứ nhất he cook a dinner for his family for his family okay Maris say cook yeah. cook again cook 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 Okay. Again. Otra vez, pero con la pronunciación correcta. He cooks dinner for his family. Excellent. Yes. So, he cooked dinner for his family. Thank you. Okay. Uh, can you please help us with number five, Emerson? Ah, oh, no. Yes, Emerson sent... Okay, I, I got your message, Emerson. Um, Jonathan, number five. Is Jonathan there? No? Yes, Miss, but I'm hearing. I'm sorry. Okay, so Jonathan, you are as a listener. I'm eating, Miss. I'm sorry. Oh, you are eating. Okay. Yes. Got it. Got Me it. Okay. Thank yes, you. don't worry. Okay. I, I heard it. I'm hearing. Okay. Thank you. Okay, uh, number thank five. You. All right. Uh, Maris, continue with number five. We decided that our grandfather and other the weekend. All right. So in this case, it's going to be visited. 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 Mm -hmm. with Again, R, with, uh, with ID, visited. Uh, visited. Mm -hmm. okay. We visited our grandparents over the weekend. Yes. Number six, Maurice. The dog. The dog. Uh, But slowly. Mm, recordemos de las reglas about the rules, okay? So, bark. 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 The dog bark loudly. Loudly. Number loudly. seven, Maris. Number seven. She cleaned her room this morning. Yes, with the letter D. Yeah, she cleaned. Yes. Number eight, Maurice. He helped his friend with work. Yes, so it is T, right? He T. helped. T. Yeah, help. Yes, okay. Number nine. Uh, number nine. Mm -hmm. Find that the work of their house. Very good. So they painted. Painted. Huh? Painted. Yes. Painted. Okay. The walls of their house. And the last one, Maurice. We finish. We finish. War war before the payment. Okay. We, deadline. Deadline. Yes. So the letter T. Finish. 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 Okay. okay finish. Yes. All right, guys. Don't forget about the pronunciation, guys. Okay. So remember, walked, played, watched, cooked, visited, barked, cleaned, helped, painted, and finished. Yes, at first you need to exaggerate. So the sound comes in the perfect way. Yeah, don't forget about the ED sounds. Yes, remember, yeah. okay, memorize this. Learn by heart the pronunciation, yeah. right? Okay, let's move. Let's move and now let's make a review on the present perfect. Now we are going to move to past participles. 
We have studied simple past. Now let's continue with past participles. Do you remember about present perfect? Well, mm, I less. hope, yes, I hope that you remember, okay? So present perfect is whenever we use have or has plus the past participle of the verb, yeah? So in this case, I'm going to help you with number one so you can recall previous knowledge. Number one, we have in parentheses B. So that means that number one is going to be, I have been here for two hours. Mm -hmm. Yes. What about number two, guys? What about number two? They have a uh, net. They have mm. nine, 1991. Pronunciation. They have. They have. Of. 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 Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. E the ending sounds. E the ending sounds. Good night. Uh, good evening, Luis Miguel. Good evening. You can... Yes. Good evening. All right. Yeah. They have. I, I oh. with the internet. Don't worry. Got it. Okay. So number one, I have been. They have owned. 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 Number three. They have a, had those problems for a long time. Excellent. They have had those problems for a long time. Number four. We have seen this movie already. Perfect. We have seen this movie already, okay? Number five, guys. You have a check -up. Pronunciation. Check you have a check -up. Check. 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 My spelling. Excellent. Number six. Angela has stayed. Has. Has stayed. Taste. Taste. Okay, taste is like that. Taste, taste that. Excellent. Angela has tasted. Yeah. Okay. Tasted. Yes. Angela has tasted baked bananas in her trip to South America. Mm -hmm. E the ending sounds, yes? Past participle of the verbs. Number seven, Lisa. Bought. Lisa has, bought a new has television. Bought, has bought a new television. Number eight, Donna. Donna has broken. Excellent. Bless. Excellent. Number nine, Tim and Allison. Have had a baby. Excellent. Very good. Number 10, I have known Susana wow. for all my life. Excellent. So, yes, I have known. Okay, perfect. 11, Dan. Has worked here since last November. Okay, pronunciation since. Okay, then has worked here since last November. Number 12. I may have been sick for two days now. All right, yes, Jamie has been sick for two days now. Number 13. You have waited for an answer since March. Very good, so you have waited for an answer since March. Uh, good, 14, Peter. 
has been has been perfect so peter has been here since last summer and the last one number 15 i have built many hours in my life all right i have built many built. houses in my life thank you very good right very good guys present perfect don't forget about the present perfect okay present perfect is very important as well good evening um wendy okay all right guys so now let's move yes let's move okay and let's start by covering unit four yeah so today we are going to start with unit four which is going to be the last unit from the book and the name of this unit is going to be loyalty yes so first of all we need to answer the question what is loyalty of course when it comes to marketing yeah so remember that we're talking about marketing so what is loyalty in marketing yeah so let's see um, um, okay, so Abigail, help us reading the definition. Loyalty. Loyalty? Loyalty in marketing refers to the customer's commitment and devotion. De devotion. Devotion? devotion to a particular brand or company. It is the will, willingness yes. of customers to repeatedly repeatedly mm -hmm. rep, repeatedly push products or services from a specific specific brand and to remain loyal even in the face of competition or alternative options. Loyal loyalty is often built, built? built through Positive, positive experiences, strong brown reputation, customer satisfaction, and effective marketing strategies. 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 Oh, strategies. 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 Yes. Very good. Okay, guys. Um, let me see. Give me one second, okay? I don't know. Um, okay, so weird. Okay, let's continue. All right. So in this case, uh, basically, guys, loyalty in marketing refers to the customer's commitment. What is the meaning of commitment? Commitment is compromiso. Do, uh, your commitment okay the commitment and devotion to a particular brand or company it is the willingness what is the willingness willingness means la disposición la buena disposición que alguien tiene de hacer algo willingness yes i am willing to do many things, all right? So willing, yes, cuando se dice willing, es eh, estar dispuesto a, yes? Willingness, disposición a, buena disposición a. So it is the willingness of customers to repeatedly, repeatedly, yeah? Repetidamente, many times, purchase, products or services from a specific brand and to remain loyal even, even in the face of competition, yeah? Or alternative options. 
loyalty is often built through how? Through positive experiences, a strong brand reputation, customer satisfaction, and effective marketing strategies. Okay. So loyalty is basically the willingness, okay? The willingness that customers have to repeatedly purchase products or services from a specific brand, okay? It is the commitment. Es el compromiso, la disposición, right? That is loyalty in marketing, okay? Now, let's continue. So we already covered what is loyalty in marketing, okay? So loyalty in marketing is the commitment, it is the willingness to buy a product, yeah? Even in the face of competition, yeah? Now let's talk about brand awareness. What is brand awareness, okay? Yes, uh, help us reading this, please, um, Carlos Omar. Okay, brand awareness refers to the extent to which a brand is recognized and remember, remembered by the consumers. It represents the level of familiarity and knowledge that customer has about a, a particular brand. Brand awareness is an important concept in marketing as it directly impact, impacts impacts consumers' decision, mark, decision making and purchase behavior. Thank you, All right. So brand awareness, guys, is basically el conocimiento de una marca. That is the brand awareness. And actually this is the main topic for today, brand awareness, yeah? So the brand awareness refers to the extent to which a brand is recognized, yeah? Brand awareness is that if you're able to recognize, yeah, and a brand and also remember it. It represents the level of familiarity and knowledge that consumers have about a particular brand. Yeah. Brand awareness, to be aware about a brand, tener conciencia, aware. Yeah. So then brand awareness is an important concept in marketing as it directly impacts consumer decision-making and purchasing behavior. Yeah, so brand awareness. All right, guys. So let's move to some definitions that are very important when we talk about brand awareness. Yeah, so it says that brand awareness is the, ab the ability of customers to identify your brand by its attributes, by the features, yeah? So as you can see right here, we have some stages of brand awareness. Let's see, help us read in number one with the definition. You already have the definition in order, okay? So what is brand recall? Number one, Maris. Number two, recognition. Number two, Carlos, please, recognition. Number three, Abigail, top of mind. And number four, Wendy, brand dominance. And number five, please, let me see, uh, Jose, okay? Unknown brand. Okay, so number one. Brown recall. A customer is able to record the name of the brand when hidden a product category. Yes. Number two, recognize, recognition. 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 Consumer can correctly identify a particular product just with a visual cue. 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 Top of mind. Top of mind. The first brand customer can think of for a product category. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
brand dominance, Wendy? Sorry, teacher. Yes, number four. Uh, brand dominance, the fears. Ah, sorry. Number four, me dijo. Yes. Customer uh, can require, require any brown, but yours for a uh, particular products cate, category. Ha, yes, category. Thank you. Unknown brand. Okay, unknown brand. Customers don't recognize your brand. Thank you. All right. So guys, in this case, we have those uh, stages, stages of brand awareness, okay? So we have um, number one, okay? We have them right here, yes. First of all, we have an unknown brand, yes? Then we have brand recall, yes? Brand recall. Then we have brand dominance. Uh -huh. It is whenever you think about a product and the first brand that comes to your mind is because you already have the brand dominance, yeah? Whenever you, for example, whenever you buy, um, what type of things? Whenever you buy some items or a specific things that you need for your bathroom, right? So you think about a brand. So in this case, you already have brand dominance. We also have top of mind. The first option that comes to your mind for you to buy probably soap, right? For you to buy toilet paper, for you to buy toothpaste. Yeah, the top of mind. And recognition, right? Whenever you have that brand in mind. Yeah, the recognition. That you know that the brand has different um, Things, right? For example, they have soap, they have shampoo, they have different items, the recognition about a brand. Okay. So basically, those are some stages yeah, that we are covering today. Five. All right, let's move. Okay. Now, let me ask you, okay. And think about this. You already know what is brand awareness, right? Remember, brand awareness refers to the extent to which a brand is recognized and remembered by consumers. Yeah. So basically, it is the ability of customers to identify your brand by its attributes. So based on that, guys, do you think, okay, listen to the question. Should a small business invest on raising brand awareness? A small business, yes or no? And why? Mm -hmm. Think about the answer. I'll give you one minute, okay? All right, so let's see who has an opinion on that. Should a small business invest on rising brand awareness? I think yes, because uh, all, all brands in, in the world uh -huh. uh, begin like, like a small business. Uh, right. For example, Microsoft. In, in, in este, and the people should should business invest uh, to to uh, uh, promote the, the brand with the customer for a, a promotion a place a, a, a publicity a publicity advertisements. advertisements. Uh, use the, the four P's to, mm -hmm. to, to promote the, the brand. Perfect. Thank you, Carlos. Very good. Yes, I support your opinion, okay? Because all of uh, the businesses, the businesses that we have, right? 
So they started as a small business. So yes, I mean, it should invest on raising brand awareness, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Okay, now let's move. Yeah, let's move. And let's talk about some strategies. Okay, a strategy. And let's try to see if we can give some examples of building brand awareness. How can we build this brand awareness? How? What are some strategies that we can use? Well, we have a couple of them. Of course, there are many, guys. Okay, there are many strategies that we can use. But we have mm, some of them right here. So Wendy help us reading the first four, the ones that we have right here, and then Jose, the last four, the ones that are in purple. Wendy, go. Referral program. Previous. Social oh, no. media. Yes. Just the first four, Wendy. Okay. Go, Wendy. The first four. The first four. You are on mute. Referral programs. Uh -huh. Social contests. Social media. Social media contests. LinkedIn. Li LinkedIn. Publicity. Okay. LinkedIn. Link. Link. LinkedIn. LinkedIn. Okay. Publi publishing. 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 Mm -hmm. Influencer marketing. Marketing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Jose? Okay. Um, previous local partnerships, impressive guest contest, unique personality. Okay, very good. Guys, what, what comes to your mind when we mention this type of a strategy? Referral programs. Mm -hmm. Referral programs. This is a, a strategy to build brand awareness. But what comes to your mind? Or give me an example of referral programs. Maybe like Amway or Herbalife is a mm. possible of, of this referral program. Yes, could be Tony. Thank you. Huh? Somebody else, guys? What about social media contests? This is very common nowadays, the giveaway, social media contests. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning of contests? Concursos, okay. Social media contests. LinkedIn, okay, LinkedIn. It is not LinkedIn, it is LinkedIn, all right? Publishing. Uh, LinkedIn is basically a new tool where we can raise brand awareness. Mm -hmm. Yes. In a more professional way, of course. LinkedIn publishing. Influencer okay. marketing. Tony? Sorry. Do you refer to LinkedIn, LinkedIn a publishing like the platform? Or is yes. it is a concept? No, in this case, it's the platform. The platform, okay. Thank yes, you. it's the platform, yes. Mm -hmm. We have different type of uh, brand awareness, but of course the awareness that we probably can make over there is going to be used for professional, uh, I would say brands, right? Of course, uh -huh. not like different uh, brands, right? It is just as a professional context. Mm -hmm. I have seen many like posts, right? Most of the time, I would say for different companies and for different institutions, right? But not for probably apparel or something like that. I haven't seen that, right? Uh -huh. 
But yes. So influencer in marketing, which is very common nowadays as well. And what is the meaning of freebies, guys? Freebies. Like gifts. Those are gifts, right? Maybe. It's like, uh huh? Maybe. Yes, it's it's like uh we we call this in in our in Spanish um. Those are like, creo que le dicen artículos promocionales. Son como regalos, right? Uh -huh. Bottle of waters, sometimes agendas, backpacks, bags, pencils, pen. I mean, uh -huh. freebies, right? Gifts with your logo and everything. Freebies. A local partnerships. Well, yes, we studied partnerships, right? Uh, impressive guest content, whenever you post content on social media, and unique personality, right? That your brand transmits this uniqueness, yes? That you are unique as a brand, right? Okay, guys, those are some strategies some of the strategies that we can mention to create or to build. Build or create synonyms, yeah? To build brand awareness. Let's move and let's go to the book, all right? Uh, I need two volunteers. One is going to be Cecilia and the other one is going to be Lucas. Me teacher. Hi. Okay, Emerson, please be uh, Celia and Lucas. Thank you, Carlos. But first, guys, before starting, read the conversation again, okay, and answer the questions. First, I'm going to read the questions so you can have the idea that we need to answer this, okay? Why is cinnamon soda not so popular? Emerson and Carlos, you are going to mention that. What is an important step to consider when launching a new product? And the last one, what is Lucas' recommendation for the cinnamon soda to get more sales? Okay, go, Emerson and Curtis. I just discovered it, Disney brand of cinnamon soda. It is delicious, but, but when I visited their fans page, I saw they only have 300 likes. I wonder, why is what it isn't more popular? Mm -hmm. It's probably a unknown brand. Simply put, the owners of the brand aren't trying too hard to create brand awareness mm -hmm. for them. This is very important when launching a launching a new product. Mm -hmm. I guess you are. You are right. Everyone knows about the Coca-Cola and Pepsi, but mm -hmm. I have never seen an ad for mm -hmm. this new soda on TV. Mm -hmm. Well, yes, consumers are aware of these brands and their image and names. In other words, this cinnamon soda you are talking about needs to make people recognize it to get high higher sales and become more competitive. Okay. Uh -huh. So let's see, why is cinnamon soda not so popular? Why? Because it's probably an unknown brand is an unknown brand, right? Look at this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, what is an important step to consider when launching a new product? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. 
what is an important step, guys, according to that role play? Simply put, the owner of the brand aren't trying too hard to create brand awareness. Correct. So, um, guys, an important step to consider when launching, right, a new product is basically to create brand awareness. I mean, I think that that should be the first step, right? To create brand awareness, yeah, for their product. Very good. And what is Lucas' recommendation for the cinnamon soda to get more sales? Huh? It says right here. This cinnamon soda you are talking about needs to make people recognize it to get higher sales and become more competitive. So in other words, they need to create brand awareness. Yes. Okay. And remember that we can create brand awareness by following different strategies. And some of the strategies we have right here, referral program, social media contests, LinkedIn publishing, influencer marketing, freebies, local partnership, impressive guest content, unique personality, among other strategies that we can make, right? Okay. All right. Do you have any question right now about this? And if not, we need to go and work on the book with this activity, okay? So what we need to do is very easy, guys. This is so simple, okay? Teamwork. Answer the following questions as a team. It says, what brands are top of mind for you and for your classmates? First of all, Yes, we need to focus on those questions, yeah? We need to complete the chart with your own information. Then interview a classmate and compare your answer. By the way, I'm not going to do that, right? What, what, um, what we're going to do is that we're going to work as a team, yeah? So in this case, you need to answer those questions as a team. What are examples of ice cream produced locally what comes to your mind yes what brands are top of mind for you when it comes to ice cream produced locally yes what uh, what's the name of a computer company identified by a particular fruit well we know the answer right? can you explain what a clinic is What's your favorite movie theater and why? Yeah, those four questions. So you will have around 10 to 15 minutes only. I think that that, that is enough, okay, to complete this. And uh, we need to participate, all right? So if you cannot participate because you are on your way home, let me know, but let's try to participate, guys, okay? I'm going to create some teams, so let me see. Yes, okay. Let's work on this, guys. Okay, Wendy, are you there? Hello, teacher. Okay, yes, Wendy. So you are going to work with Emerson and Carlos Omar is coming, I think. Okay. Um, okay. Wait, two more. Okay. Oh, yes. 
I'm going to move Mayra. Okay, so I think that I'm going to move you uh, with Caroline Morris, okay? So you can work together. Okay. Okay, let me move you. Wait a minute. Teacher, we only talk about the question, right? Yes, you need to answer the questions, right? Mm -hmm. You need to answer all of the questions. I mean, number one, number two, three, and four. Mm -hmm. You need to get all of your opinions, and then you are going to just, um, you are going to gather your opinions, and then you are going to have one answer for each, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Mm, La I, I, I prefer Boston because the ice cream shop. Buy, 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 boy one. One by, oh my, buy, boy one, uno por uno. But okay. the sandwich of Sarita is uh, <laughs> my. Uh, Why? Favorite, favorite ice cream, the sandwich, ah. <laughs> chocolate, chocolate. Why? Sandwich. Teacher. Yes. Eh, una Venga a abrir ahí. Ah. Eh, el compañero tiene que explicarle por qué le gusta ese, esa marca. No, uh, you need to gather, it. I mean, sí tiene que explicarlo en sí, inglés. Sí, tranquilízate vos. Yeah. Oh, está temblando. Ya, yeah. ok. Vaya. Eh, o sea, tiene que reunir todas las, eh, las opiniones, ok, todas sus opiniones y al final van a tener eh, una opinión en conjunto acerca de la primera. Por ejemplo, number one dice, what are examples of ice cream produced locally? Estaba escuchando que alguien decía la nevería, ok. Boston, ajá, Pops. Entonces, solo eso, ponga. Todo lo que ellos le digan. Ah, oh, ok. Yes, ajá. Carla. Hola. Sorry. Ok. <laughs> no no yes. Ah, está Emerson también. Hola, Emerson. Me vino a mover la cama el tonto. <laughs> yes, I know. Ok. Es que estábamos debajo de la mesa. Sorry. Hoy no hay que dormir. Yeah. Ok. Eh, but, yeah, en el second one. And, is, uh, what? But fifty-nine of the company company didn't buy in a particular piece. Oh, Apple. Apple. What is this company? Yeah, what company is represented as is identified for the for a particular fruit? Mm, Apple. <laughs> Ah, por uno. ¿Another one? Mm -hmm. Apple. 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 The other? Mm -hmm. <coughs> mm -hmm. I think there is no other. 
Or yes, no. computer companies. Mm, no. No, I think. Let no. me see. Buy a okay. fruit, right? Buy a fruit, only apple, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. And... Yes, just apple. Can you explain what a clean is? Mm -hmm. and... When talking about the fruit? For example, Dole. There is a company oh. Oh. Cultivo, cultivo in, in Honduras, bananas. Okay. The logo is a, is a banana. Oh. Okay. Say it again. Emerson, do. Dol, dole. Dol. Se me fue el nombre. Rio Soto. Oh, Rio Soto. Yes. It's a... Barato, how do you say barato? Cheap. Affordable. Cheap. Cheap. Oh, Affordable. Affordable, yes. Yeah. It's famous for the party or baby shower. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we have a uh, in Rival, Rio Soto, and Bernardo State. Uh, Sarita and Neveria. And my favorite is Sarita. The flavor have a, uh, have a variety of, of flavor. They have a variety. They have a variety of flavor. Aha, son toallas. Wipes. There is a wipes. Wipes. Wipe. Wipes. Yeah. Yeah. Wipes. Another one. Uh, Eh, papel higiénico no yes have a toilet paper uh -huh, toilet, toilet paper. paper toilet paper Mm -hmm. Hola. Bueno, estoy. Okay. They have to. Um, how do you say papel higiénico? Toilet paper. Uh -huh. Toilet paper yeah. and uh, pampers too. Mm. They have. I don't know. Uh, so, help alcohol. Alcohol. Yeah. Um. Clinics. Oh, toita húmeda, no. También. Mm. Alcohol gel, toita húmeda, papel higiénico, pampers. Wet towels. With the wet. With wet. Okay. Okay. Wet. 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 
Ok, démoslo así, vamos. Ok. What favorite movie this, this season? I don't For me, Cinemax. No. Cinepolis? Cinepolis. I think wow. Cinemax because they only sang me. <laughs> <laughs> Cinemax. I think Cinemark. So there, there is a two cinema, cinemas in the resort. Oh, cinema. there are there are Cinepolis. two. There are two. There are. There are only two. Mm-hmm. In another one. And and other reasons, okay? At reasons. Ah, the reason. In my case, because it's the only only one, only okay. in San Miguel. Mm -hmm. Only one in San Miguel, no? Because it is the only one in San Miguel, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, because it is, it is, uh, have comfort. Can you explain what a Kleenex is? Yes, it's a tissue. Tissue. This way, tissue. Tissue. Mm -hmm. To clean your face or every everything that you need to clean. Mm -hmm. It's affordable for prices and accessible all the time. And they have a different presentations but this um uh paper towel mm -hmm. uh, yes i don't know with um a smell too no okay sorry and 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 sometimes uh they have a um a little little package little uh Little mm -hmm. box. Mm -hmm. Little pockets, uh huh. Yes. Uh, and for, traveler, for traveler options. Yes, and you can uh you can put in your purse or your bag. But clean clinic is a is a brand, but we used to refer to the papers to clean anything well, that you need. Mm -hmm. Is the same with another product for a um, for woman uh, like Cotex? <laughs> yeah. You say Cotex? Uh, Cotex is a brand, but mm -hmm. the Sanitary towels for one is uh, are different branches or different colors, odors, and I don't know uh, a different options. But uh, we refer to the to this product with the name of the first brand that impulse or develop the product in in El Salvador, maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. could you um describe the clean the the product clinic with different words or with the different characteristics
Maybe no. Mm -hmm. And the last one, what is your favorite movie theater? Hmm. In my in my area, in um, just we have a one movie theater is Cinemark in Metro Center San Miguel. Is the only one. Metro oh San Miguel. Yes. <laughs> yes, hmm. is uh like a maybe a. 40 or 60 minutes. Uh, away from my home. Do you live in another department? Um, is not in San Miguel. I live in uh, Santa Rosa de Lima, La Unión. Mm. <laughs> It's so far away from San Salvador. Yes. yes. Very, very far. Yeah. Okay. Um, maybe you have another um movie theater. Have a different flower. Different flower. Okay, so are you done? You finish? Yes. <laughs> okay, perfect. Give me one minute because the other team is just finishing the last one, okay? Uh, the only option is the only one. Minute. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm, I don't know if the Honduras country have a, a movie theater near of the border. I don't know. Um, let me ask to Google, some Google. Maybe it's more closer than 45 minutes to, to from um, uh, Santa Rosa de Lima to, to San Miguel. Mm, maybe it's the same time. It's, it's, it's an uh, more close, but uh, the time that you have in um uh, in a frontier or in the traffic because the trailers and uh uh every uh every furgon, no sé cómo se dice. Furgon. Uh huh. Mm, maybe trailer truck, truck yes okay. uh every truck with um with a package or something like that that uh they pro produce mm, a lot of traffic mm. and it's not uh -huh, and it's is not easy to mm -hmm. to pass yes mm -hmm. um so frontera you can say it border okay yes the border okay okay yes you have you have a um a movie theater in honduras in villa del sol but this more closer san miguel and better, uh, and better uh, streets. How do you say carretera? Highways. Be with better highways or, or better uh, infrastructure to, to drive. All right. Okay. Um, San Miguel is maybe uh, like um, mm -hmm. 40 minutes, uh, uh, depend of the traffic, but Metro Centro, uh the traffic the traffic to um for 
going to Metro Centro is very hard. So maybe 20 or 30 minutes in San Miguel. Okay, are you done? Ready? Mm, yes. Yes, okay. All right, let's go back, guys, okay? Okay. Okay, so let's wait for the other ones to join. Once uh, the other ones join the main, the main session, guys, we are going to start by answering the questions. So let's see, I'm missing Jose, Nelly, Abigail, Emerson. Okay. So let's see, um, we're going to start with team five. So we have Abigail, Emerson, Carla, Maris, Kenya, and Wendy. Okay, so guys, yes, go question by question, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, uh, number one, it's what are example of ice cream products lo locally? Locally. Uh, locally. <laughs> we mentioned uh, Boston, uh, Sarita, Nemeria, uh -huh. Rio Soto. Okay. And we prefer, uh, in my case, <laughs> uh -huh. I prefer the Boston in Sarita because it doesn't harm my stomach. <laughs> okay. And... and the in uh, flavors, I prefer the Boston. Boston, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Marlon, second. Hello. Well, um, when talking about the particular fruit, some of the companies that come to mind when we're talking about the fruit, are Apple, a uh, manufacturer of the intelligent device, and Dole, a banana company based in Honduras. Okay. All right. Thank you, Emerson. Okay. Number three, can you explain Wendy. what a cleavance is? Wendy. <laughs> okay. Hello. Yes. Uh, Kleenex distribute distribute um, Kimberly Clark t-shirt. But what is okay? <laughs> Sorry. This, uh -huh. Can you explain <laughs> what a Kleenex is? What is a Kleenex? Ah. Uh, what is it? Um. So I ask, no, better. But in English. Wipers. 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 What? Wipers. Wipes. Wipes. Mm -hmm. Humedas. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, and number four. The number four is what's your favorite movie theater? In my case, I don't know visit a movie theater, but I think at cinema because uh, you help and so on in high fidelity on the screen. 
So that will be Cinemark. Cinemark. Do you all, okay. So in this case, do you all prefer um, Cinemark? I mean, from the team, let me see, let me see. Um, Abigail, Emerson, Maris, Kenya, Wendy, and Carla. Do you all prefer Cinemark? Uh, I prefer Cinemark because in San Miguel is the only, <laughs> only one. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. But I don't visit or... Yeah, you don't visit the cinema? Uh, not much. <laughs> okay, yes, it's okay. All right. And you, Wendy? Cinemark or Cinepolis? Cinemark teacher. Okay. That is good. Okay, thank you, guys. Uh, Mayra. Okay, teacher. Yes. So I see that you were with Carlos Omar, Jose, Luis Miguel, Nelly, and Tony. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I start. Um, an example of ice cream produce locally. Mm -hmm. We we find this uh, brand, for example, Sin Rival ice cream, mm -hmm. Rio Soto, Sarita, Neveria, Boston. Yao Yao, and, and finally I I find the another brand, Las Choroletas. Choroletas, okay. Las Choroletas. It is a uh, expensive and exotic flavors. Oh really? Yeah. Where is it located? What? What? Where, where, where is it located? I I just reading there is great. To Salvadorian, Salvadorian people. Uh -huh. Oh, but where are they located? I mean, the place. I I remember I see in La Gran Vía. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Chorroletas. All right. Interesting. Okay. And which one is your favorite, Mayra? Um, yao yao. I prefer yao yao because it's very healthy. Okay. <laughs> okay. For me, it's not bad. Okay. okay. <laughs> I haven't. I haven't heard Tin Rival ice cream. Mm, but it's good. But uh, I don't know. Maybe is um at at the when the brand begins. It's only in Santa Ana. Mm. Um, Carreton uh, by Sorbete de Carreton. Mm -hmm. the, the yes. Was a, a, a good sorbetero. Mm. sorbetero <clears throat> that, and um, when he grows, um, have many, many carretones for vending. And when the opportunity that uh, he had, um, uh, they, he opened, he opened uh, a branch in Santana, and then the sons uh, start to beginning with the with the um, the distribution of this product. It was very good, but um, I don't know because the 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 flavor is is not so sure, is not so surtido. Uh, they don't have many flavors, mm -hmm. and then for in my case or from preference. <laughs> The, the pops or, or the Boston pops right now. I remember when I was a child, um, maybe four or five years, and we visit our uh, uncle. Uh, we traveled from uh, Ciudad Mario to Sacamil. Mm -hmm. And every day when we um, we visited visit my, my uncle, mm -hmm. um, uh, we we uh, bring a gift like it's a, 
I'm half of a gallon of pistachio, vanilla, or chocolate. Every time it was different. And this is the great celebration for our family to share the ice cream with our uh, primos. And uh, I don't know how we say primos, uh, cousins? Okay. No, no, son sobrinos. Um, nuestros primos. Um, primos se dice. Yes. Uh, cousin, the, the yeah. cousin, okay, huh? with our cousin and with uh, all the family and sharing the dichosa sorbete, the ice cream pops. Uh, this, for, in in my case, with this, mm -hmm. I remember that uh, that travels and that visits our, our family. Okay, it was so nice, right? Yeah. Okay, guys, just for us to know, um. Carreton, we can say it ice cream cart. Yeah. And sorbetero, ice cream maker. Yeah. Ice cream cart. Uh huh. Like that. Very good. And sorbetero, ice cream maker. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Next. Tony, can you read yes. the second? Yes, uh, the second at the left, uh, at the, uh, down left or at the right? Okay. On the right. Okay, what's the name of a computer company identified by a particular fruit? Yes, um, only that we have in, in, in the top of mind is Apple. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. I don't know in, in the, when, when Emerson said uh, ba banana, banana computer, or, or I don't know what, what's the name. Um, <laughs> I'm surprised. Okay. Yeah, I, I think that, but in this case, I don't know if, if he meant um, Emerson. What? I'm not sure. Yeah. When, when you said banana, I mean, the company was about technology, I think. Exactly. It's a firm. It's a farm. Where, it's a farm where they cultivate cultivate mm -hmm. a banana. Ah, oh, okay. Platon. okay. Uh, yeah, I think that, that that he mentioned something else, right? Yeah. Chiquita, maybe Chiquita from Honduras. Okay. It's the same. It's it's similar. Yes. Mm, okay. All right. Next. Can you explain what a clinic is, guys? What is a clinic for you? Mm -hmm. um, when I think in clinics, I think in wipes, you mean, you mean wipes, but mm -hmm. I, I know that clinics is the brand, maybe the first one that made that kind of product. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Okay. And the last. What's your favorite movie theater? Nelly, can you explain that? From Nelly is Cinemark. <laughs> and it's the only one. <laughs> Same as Carlita, right? Yeah. Here, here in Santa Ana, uh, right now we just have Cinepolis, but before we had Cinemark. Uh, we tried both, mm, but um, remember the place I, I prefer Cinepolis, it is more comfortable and the audio has a better quality. Mm -hmm. Yes, in, in my case, is cinema because, um, like Carla, <laughs> just we have in the in the area. In the area. Uh, yes, just we have a cinema. Mm -hmm. Okay. But both, but both are good. Yes, both. 
All right, good. But mm -hmm. in your case, Sonny, which one do you prefer? Cinepolis. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Maybe for the position <laughs> of the butacas. Yes, that is true, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you. I'm going to take the attendance. Okay, Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Atilio, Atilio is not here, okay. Carlos Omar Linares Cañas. Present. Thank you. <clears throat> Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Eduardo Franco. No. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present. Thank you. Fátima Gabriela Loza Castillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Jonathan Jose Gonzalez Dominguez. George Antonio Sanchez Quiñones. George, no, okay. Eh, Jose Bernardo López Montes. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Antonio Elías Flores. Present teacher. Yes, thank you. Juan Jose Herrera Alvarenga. Present teacher. Yes, thank you. Eh, Carla Sofía Argueta Chévez. Present. Yes. Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez Zelaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Kenia Luis Miguel Corbera Enríquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelly Lilibeth Andrade García. Present. Thank you. Raúl Antonio Jordán Miranda. Present. Thank you. Sandra Abigail Bonilla Cano. Present. And Wendy Maricela Ramírez Guevara. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Okay, guys, let's continue and we're going to move to the listening quizzes. Okay, let me share the first, let me see. Yes, let's work on the first listening. Um, George present and Jonathan present. Okay, let me see, George. And Jonathan, okay, thank you. There you go, guys. This is the link and the passcode is the same. Listening, okay? That is the passcode. Listening. I'm going to play this um this audio three times, okay? Just for you to make sure. But it's so easy. Okay. Let me share the sound. Okay. All right, guys. Let me know once you are ready so I can play the, the audio. Okay. Ready? Yes, teacher. Yes. yes okay, teacher. Here, here we go. Here we go, guys. Uh, hi, what was your name again? I can't keep straight out the students' names, this being the second day of school. It's okay, I have a hard time remembering names myself. Yeah, uh, Karen, right? <laughs> it's Nancy. My mom's name is Karen. Nancy, okay. I think I heard you were from England. Well, I was born there, but my parents are American. I grew up in France. Oh, a world traveler. But then we moved here when I was nine. So, what does your father do now? Well... He's a college professor, and he's in Scotland at the moment. How interesting. What does he teach? Oh, I haven't a clue. Nah, just joking. He <laughs> teaches chemistry. Oh, chemistry. And uh, what about your mother? She works full-time at home. Oh, and what, does she have her own business or something? Nah, she takes care of me. Well, being a homemaker can be a real hard but rewarding job. I think so, too. Okay, guys, here we go with the second time, okay? The background song is so heavy. Yes, I know, okay? Try to just listen carefully, okay? I mean, try to pay close attention. Okay, here we or go. Or use headphones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, okay? Let's see. 
Uh, hi, what was your name again? I can't keep straight all the students' names, this being the second day of school. It's okay, I have a hard time remembering names myself. Yeah, uh, Karen, right? <laughs> it's Nancy. Her mom's name is Karen. Nancy, okay. I think I heard you were from England. Well, I was born there, but my parents are American. I grew up in France. Oh, a world traveler. But then we moved here when I was nine. So, what does your father do now? Well... He's a college professor, and he's in Scotland at the moment. How interesting. What does he teach? Oh, I haven't a clue. Nah, just joking. He <laughs> teaches chemistry. Oh, chemistry. And uh, what about your mother? She works full-time at home. Oh, and what, does she have her own business or something? Nah, she takes care of me. Well, being a homemaker can be a real hard but rewarding job. I think so, too. Okay. The last time. Yes, please. Yes. Uh, hi, what was your name again? I can't keep straight all the students' names, this being the second day of school. It's okay, I have a hard time remembering names myself. Yeah, uh, Karen, right? <laughs> it's Nancy. Her mom's name is Karen. Nancy, okay. I think I heard you were from England. Well, I was born there, but my parents are American. I grew up in France. Oh, a world traveler. But then we moved here when I was nine. So what does your father do now? Well, he's a college professor and he's in Scotland at the moment. How interesting. What does he teach? Oh, I haven't a clue. Nah, just joking. He teaches <laughs> chemistry. Oh, chemistry. And uh, what about your mother? She works full time at home. Oh, and what, does she have her own business or something? Nah, she takes care of me. Well, being a homemaker can be a real hard but rewarding job. I think so too. Okay, ready? Yes, I was confusing the nationality of when she was born. Mm. But I don't understand when she uh, mentioned France. France? Uh -huh. Let me see. Okay, I'm going to show the conversation, okay, so you can see. I think she grew up in France. Uh -huh. Correct. Look at this. It says, well, I was, well, uh, here. Huh? Nancy, okay, I think I heard you were from England. Well, I was born there, but my parents are American. I grew up in France. Uh, ella se crió, okay. Uh, okay. Yes, very good. Okay. Thanks. Um, all right. Let's move and let's take the second one. Okay, let me get the link for you as well. Okay, there you go. Uh, open it. Um, the same passcode, listening. Oh my gosh. You saw we're coming. Oh, yes. Well, okay. It's about managing stress, okay? Let's pay attention, okay? Uh, all right, I'm going to play this three times as well. Here we go. In this video, let's talk about managing stress. And to begin with, let's talk about whether stress is ever good or useful in our life. Uh, what do you think, Aubrey? Well, definitely there are positive stressors, right? Um, because, you know, if you're not, it, it, it drives us, right? If you're not stressed in some way, then you probably wouldn't do anything. You know, like writing your paper. If you're not worried about it, you're probably not going to do it. Right. I agree but it can with definitely that. become overwhelming if you have too much on your plate or you're not managing it well. Well, let's talk about that idea of what kinds of stressors do you think are very common in people's lives today? Yeah, like especially in the United States, like we have a like there's a pretty toxic um, drive to work all the time, right? And not take time off. And that can be overwhelming and stressful right? Because you you don't have downtime. You don't have time to right. let go of that stress. You know, the drive to work more than 40 hours a week. 
Another one that's big here in the United States would be like medical bills, okay. um, just because things are really expensive. I was actually playing the Spider-Man game on the PlayStation, and one of the collectibles you get is a medical bill of his, and it's like, blah, 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 surgery, $2,000. I'm like, yeah, that's not true. There's no way <laughs> that that's true. That seems so $2, cheap. <laughs> no, like I was in a car accident, and um, it, the bills are upwards of $10,000. Like, it's ridiculous. Um, it's thankfully, ridiculous. I have insurance, so I'm going to be okay. But it's definitely a big stressor in people's lives here in the United States. Yeah. So school can be a stressor. Work mm -hmm. can be a stressor. Medical bills can be a stressor. What about the idea of just uh, managing finances overall? Oh, yeah. I mean, and it really depends. Like finances, that's a hard one because it's not a math problem. It's more of a people behavior problem, right? right? And sometimes you end up in this cycle where it's like, oh, no, I have no money. I'm stressed out. I better spend some money to make myself feel better. Oh. <laughs> and then you're more stressed out. And that actually <laughs> leads into the last thought on this. What are some healthy ways of managing stress? Again, going back to some of the things we talked about with the medical bills or school or work or uh, relationships, what are some healthy ways, uh, whether it be exercise or other, that could help eliminate or at least reduce stress? Yeah. So, and then this is a good question too, like with the person who needs to manage stress, like do they have an underlying anxiety disorder is something to think about because the answer is going to be different because you know if you do have an anxiety disorder you're going to process things differently than you know someone who doesn't um but if we're just talking in generalizations i mean meditation can be good for some people um deep breathing you know just taking a minute to center yourself definitely take your days off like if you get paid to paid time off, you need to use it, right? Mm -hmm. Your company might not like that, but that's too bad for them. And you really, in those particular cases, need to force yourself to do it. You probably mm -hmm. earned it. And so take it because it's kind of like use it or lose it. And sometimes you might end up losing your mind because you haven't been practicing enough self-care. Exactly. All right. Well, thank you for sharing some thoughts on managing stress in our lives. Okay, so the second time, guys. In this video, let's talk about managing stress. And to begin with, let's talk about whether stress is ever good or useful in our life. Uh, what do you think, Aubrey? Well, definitely there are positive stressors, right? Um, because, you know, if you're not, it, it, it drives us, right? If you're not stressed in some way, then you probably wouldn't do anything. You know, like writing your paper. If you're not worried about it, you're probably not going to do it. Right. I agree But it can definitely that. become overwhelming if you have too much on your plate or you're not managing it well. Well, let's talk about that idea of what kinds of stressors do you think are very common in people's lives today? Yeah. Like, especially in the United States, like we have a, like there's a pretty toxic um, drive to work all the time, right? And not take time off. And that can be overwhelming and stressful, right? Because you you don't have downtime. You don't have time to right. let go of that stress. You know, the drive to work more than 40 hours a week. Another one that's big here in the United States would be like medical bills, okay. um, just because things are really expensive. I was actually playing the Spider-Man game on the PlayStation. And one of the collectibles you get is a medical bill of his. And it's like, blah, 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 surgery, $2,000. I'm like, yeah, that's not true. There's no way that that's seems so $2, cheap. <laughs> no, like I was in a car accident and um, it, the bills are upwards of $10,000. Like it's ridiculous. It's um, thankfully, ridiculous. I have insurance, so I'm going to be okay. But it's definitely a big stressor in people's lives here in the United States. Yeah. So school can be a stressor. Work mm -hmm. can be a stressor. Medical bills can be a stressor. What about the idea of just... Uh, managing finances overall oh yeah I mean, and it really depends like finances that's a hard one because it's not a math problem it's more of a people behavior problem right? right and sometimes you end up in this cycle where it's like oh no i have no money i'm stressed out i better spend some money to make myself feel oh. better <laughs> and then you're more stressed out and that actually mm -hmm. leads into the last thought on this what are some healthy ways 
a managing stress. Again, going back to some of the things we talked about with the medical bills or school or work or uh, relationships, what are some healthy ways, uh, whether it be exercise or other, that could help eliminate or at least reduce stress? Yeah. So, and then this is a good question too, like with the person who needs to manage stress, like do they have an underlying anxiety disorder is something to think about because the answer is going to be different because, you know, if you do have an anxiety disorder, you're going to process things differently than, you know, someone who doesn't. Um, But if we're just talking in generalizations, I mean, meditation can be good for some people. Um, Deep breathing, you know, just taking a minute to center yourself. Definitely take your days off. Like if you get paid de- paid time off, you need to use it, right? Mm-hmm. Your company might not like that, but that's too bad for them. And you really, in those particular cases, need to force yourself to do it. You probably mm-hmm. earned it. And so take it because it's kind of like use it or lose it. And sometimes you might end up losing your mind because you haven't been practicing enough self-care. Exactly. All right. Well, thank you for sharing some thoughts on managing stress in our lives. Okay. Ready? No. Okay. So the last time. Yes, this is the last time. In this video, let's talk about managing stress. And to begin with, let's talk about whether stress is ever good or useful in our life. Uh, What do you think, Aubrey? Well, definitely there are positive stressors, right? Um, Because, you know, if you're not, it it, it drives us, right? If you're not stressed in some way, then you probably wouldn't do anything. You know, like writing your paper. If you're not worried about it, you're probably not going to do it. Right. I agree. But it can definitely become overwhelming if you have too much on your plate or you're not managing it well. Well, let's talk about that idea of what kinds of stressors do you think are very common in people's lives today? Yeah, like especially in the United States, like we have a, like there's a pretty toxic um, drive to work all the time, right? And not take time off. And that can be overwhelming and stressful, right? Because you you don't have downtime. You don't have time to right. let go of that stress. You know, the drive to work more than 40 hours a week. Another one that's big here in the United States would be like medical bills, okay. um, just because things are really expensive. I was actually playing the Spider-Man game on the PlayStation and one of the collectibles you get is a medical bill of his and it's like, blah, 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 surgery, $2,000. I'm like, yeah, that's not true. There's no way <laughs> that that's seems so $2, cheap. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I was in a car accident and um, it, the bills are upwards of $10,000. Like it's ridiculous. Um, thankfully, I have insurance, so I'm going to be okay. But it's definitely a big stressor in people's lives here in the United States. Yeah. So school can be a stressor. Work mm-hmm. can be a stressor. Medical bills can be a stressor. What about the idea of just uh, managing finances overall? Oh, yeah. I mean, And it really depends. Like finances, that's a hard one because it's not a math problem. It's more of a people behavior problem, Right. right. And sometimes you end up in this cycle where it's like, oh, no, I have no money. I'm stressed out. I better spend some money to make myself feel better. (laughs) And then you're more stressed out. And that actually (laughs) leads into the last thought on this. What are some healthy ways of managing stress? Again, going back to some (laughs) of the things we talked about with the medical bills or school or work or uh, relationships. What are some healthy ways? Uh, whether it be exercise or other, that could help eliminate or at least reduce stress? Yeah. So, and then this is a good question too, like with the person who needs to manage stress, like do they have an underlying anxiety disorder is something to think about because the answer is going to be different because, you know, if you do have an anxiety disorder, you're going to process things differently than, you know, someone who doesn't. Um, But if we're just talking in generalizations, I mean, meditation can be good for some people. Um, Deep breathing, you know, just taking a minute to center yourself. Definitely take your days off. Like if you get paid paid time off, you need to use it, right? Mm -hmm. Your company might not like that, but that's too bad for them. And you really, in those particular cases, need to force yourself to do it. You probably Mm -hmm. earned it. 
And so take it because it's kind of like use it or lose it. And sometimes you might end up losing your mind because you haven't been practicing enough self-care. Exactly. All right. Well, thank you for sharing some thoughts on managing stress in our lives. Okay. So let's see. All right. Yes, um, I can see that this was uh, more difficult than the previous one, of course, right? Let me see. Okay. All right. Now let's move to the reading quiz. Yeah, the reading. Um, there you go. And the passcode is reading, capital letters, okay? Reading. And I'm going to share my screen so you can see the reading, okay? So open the quiz. Open the quiz. And we're going to have a couple of minutes, okay? From five to seven minutes, okay? For you to read and answer. We have only three questions, I think, okay? So there you go.
Okay, one minute. All right, guys, so let's see. Let me see. Um, okay, I can see that some of you got 100, which is good, all right? Richard, the second one, uh, it was confusing the answer. Why? Do someone do a token Con conundrum hot springs, uh -huh. but uh, I I I can not find the phrase when say lay their eggs. Yes, that is the correct answer. Correct. I know. Okay, so in this case, um, you actually won't find that uh, a specific answer, Tony. In this case, that's why I added on the instructions, right? It says, read the text carefully and use your critical thinking to infer some of the questions. You may use your online dictionary to check the meaning if you do not know the meaning of a word in the paragraph, because I knew that actually you wouldn't find that in the paragraph. Mm -hmm. Lay but, me back. Let's see. Um, let me see. Okay. So let me share the screen. Okay. I'm going to I'm going to ask from the ones that got 100. Okay. To explain to us why you decided to add the correct answer. Right. Let me see. I will ask in this case, Mayra. Okay. Mayra, uh, can you please let me know where we can find the answer for number two? Question number two. I think that is the one that Tony is saying. Let me just double check. Yes. What do salmon do at Conundrum Hot Springs? I choose um, because I I I how do you say busque? I search. Uh, I search the the meaning of spawning. Excellent. Um, in Spanish is the sobe. Spawning area, right? Uh huh. It's, En español, eh, no sabía que era de sobe, creo. Uh -huh. y de busqué, sobar. Como, yeah. Ajá, busqué sinónimos y ahí entendí. Ok, yes, it's like laying, es como pro, uh, produce eggs, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, in this case, I know, Tony, the, the answer is not like the same words, right? But that's why sometimes, um, in this case I added, right? That you needed to use the dictionary, but let's say that you are in the exam, right? So, I mean, first of all, we need to know the meaning of the words, right? But whenever we don't know, we need to choose one and see if that is correct, because sometimes we are not going to know all of the words that are right here, right? And in this case, we have the answer. Mm -hmm. Right here. Okay. Yes. Because I, I I train to understand when 
when I read lying back is when I um, make a, a, a rest or, or a, a little snap with into the water because mm -hmm. they are so, so hot. Mm -hmm. but, okay, okay. Yes. Right now. Okay. All right. So now let's continue and let's move to the speaking time. Just because of the time, we are going to actually um, speak right here, okay, in the main session. So I'm going to request uh, your opinion, guys. But first, let's um, try to pronounce this tongue twister, okay, which is very easy. Um, in this case, this goes like this I thought. A thought, but the thought I thought wasn't the thought I thought that I thought. If the thought I thought I thought had been the thought I thought, I wouldn't have thought so much. Pronunciation of this uh, word, thought, 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 okay, thought. Jonathan. I want to try it. Yes, go. Okay. I thought I thought, but the thought I thought wasn't the thought. I thought I thought, but if the thought I thought, I thought I have been thought, I thought I wasn't have thought so much. Okay. Almost perfect. In this case, you mentioned wasn't instead of wouldn't. Okay. But it was good. Jennifer. Okay. Thank you. All right. Somebody else? that wants to try. It's the same word, thought. Thought, thought, thought. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, I'm going to then mention some names. Uh, Nelly? Yes. Go. <laughs> okay, I thought I thought, but the thought I thought wasn't the thought I thought I Thought if the thought, thought I thought I had been the thought I thought I wouldn't have thought so much. Thank you, right? Very good. So thoughts. Thank you, Mayra. Okay. I thought I thought, but the thought I thought wasn't the thought I thought I thought. If the thought I thought I thought had been the thought I thought. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have thought so much. Yes. Okay. Thought. 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 Uh, Maurice. Okay. Okay. I thought, I thought, but I thought, I thought, wasn't the thought, I thought, I thought, is the thought, I thought, I thought have been the top, I thought I wouldn't have top so much. So much. Yes, very good, Maurice. Carla Sofia? Uh, I thought I thought, but the thought I thought wasn't. <laughs> the thought I thought I thought, if the thought I thought I thought had been so I thought I wouldn't have thought so much. Very good. Yes. Okay. And Tony? Me costa más entender lo que leer. Come on, Tony. Okay. I thought, I thought, but the thought I thought wasn't the thought I thought I thought. Mm -hmm. In the top, I thought, I thought had been the top, I thought, I wouldn't have thought so much. Very good, yes. And let me see, Fatima, are you there? Fatima Gabriela? Maybe she is a listener right now. Yes, teacher. Oh, okay, yes. Can you please say it? Yes, I I thought I thought, but the thought I thought wasn't the thought I thought I thought. If the thought I thought 
I thought have been the toe. I thought I won't have so so much. Very good. Thank you, Fatima. Um, Emerson. I thought I thought, but the thought I thought wasn't the toe. I thought I thought if the uh, the thought I thought. I thought have been the thought I thought I wouldn't have thought so much. So much. Very good. Okay. All right. Someone else that wants to try? Me? Now? Oh, Abigail. Okay. I Go. throw a throw, but the throw a throw. Okay. Water. Yeah. This one, Abigail, thought. 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 Okay, go again. I thought. I thought. I thought. I thought. Mm -hmm. Thought. Yes. I thought. I... <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Okay, so. I thought a thought. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. I throws a throws but the those mm -hmm. uh those I thought thoughts thought. thought. mm -hmm. was in the Throws, I toss, I throws. If the toss, I toss, I toss, haven't been the toss, I toss, I wouldn't have thrust so much. Okay. All right. So the pronunciation of this one, guys, okay, is going to be thought, thought. with T, thought and with th at the beginning remember okay so thought thought mm -hmm. thought thought okay very good thank you guys all right before we go because it's almost time guys do you have any question for today's class remember that today we talked about loyalty okay loyalty yeah don't forget about what is loyalty in this case is the commitment, the willingness. What was commitment? Compromiso. What was willingness? Disposición a. We also talked about brand awareness. Hmm? Don't forget about this term, okay? That we're going to study along this unit, all right? And then, guys, thank you very much for connecting today and being responsible. Okay, I hope to see you back tomorrow. And Maris, can you please stay with me? Then the other ones, okay. guys, if you don't have any questions, thank you very much. And I hope you have a good night. Take care and rest. Okay, bye bye, guys. Take good care. Night, teacher. Good night. Bye -bye. Good night. Bye bye, guys. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Good see night, you. Tony. See you. Thank you. All right, uh, Maris. Yeah. How are you? How do you feel? Good night. Good night, Nelly. Okay, very good. Excellent. Maris, um, I just have a couple of questions for you. Okay, so we're going to have our feedback time. So, Maris, uh, first of all, I would like to you know how do you feel with our classes, right? How do you feel with the topics that we have been covering? How do you feel with the vocabulary? Uh, yes, I want to know your opinion, Maurice. Uh it, your presentation in the class is very good. Okay, thank you, Maurice. But uh, in my case, yes, uh, I learn, aprendo muy lento. Ah, okay, I uh, learn I, slow. I learn slow. Yes, I learn slow. Yes. Uh, near, I need to uh, practice more, 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 more. Mm -hmm. But I don't have uh, any time because I only have time in the weekend. Mm -hmm. 
we can uh, I study four class the week in the weekend. Okay. Yes. But but I I have a story much. Excellent. Well, Maurice, we understand that the learning process is going to be kind of slow sometimes, and that is something normal, okay? It's not something that is bad or no. It is normal, okay? Remember that sometimes it takes longer than others, right, to learn. So yeah. it is okay. As long as you are doing your part, which is studying, right? is okay you are learning okay so that is something good then i have noticed that you always participate and that is something good maris that you always participate right because just in that way is um the way that you are going to learn you see sometimes whenever we are as a listener um i mean when it's the time of speaking, you cannot speak because you are as a listener. But in this case, you are always participating in the class. So, and I have seen that you are improving, right? You are improving. Um, maybe what we need to focus on is on pronunciation, on the simple past, Maurice. Simple past pronunciation. Yeah. yeah it is yeah, very yeah. important. Then Maris, um, I think that you are you are good. I mean, you are on the way, yeah. So you are learning, okay, at your uh, pace, uh huh? I I think uh, I I don't um, compare with a coworker, and o sea, compararme con con alguno de mis compañeros y a veces pienso que me ha falta bastante. I mean, maybe, Maurice, what you are or what you need to improve is just pronunciation. Yes, pronunciation, yeah. because actually you have the attitude, right? You have, you have the willingness to learn, right? So in this case, I think that, of course, Many of your classmates, they are able to speak English, right? But that doesn't mean that you are not able to reach that level, right? You are able to reach that level, but I need to participate even more, right? Okay. Even more and more and more and more. And you just yeah. speak in English, Maurice, not Spanish. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. Now, Maurice, do you have I, any? I, I have, I yeah, I have a question. Tell uh, me. With the platform. Oh yes, so. Uh, in, in the in in the phase the two point eleven. Two point eleven. Let me look. Eleven. And second part, two point eleven. Let me see. Um, uh, give me one second. Yeah. Okay. Two point eleven. Yeah, I got. Ah, oh, okay. Uh -huh. Is this one? I'm going to share my screen. Okay. Okay. This is say. In the part this, two, okay. number two, this one or product included enough? Oh no, because I prove mm. uh, the different form is by the different form. Mm. No, Maurice, I'm going to give you, yes, I, I remember that I mentioned that in this case, um, we need to have some, I mean, the platform is, has another answer. I don't, I don't, I don't know if you remember about this, but I mentioned that the platform has another answer. But yeah. I'm going to I'm going to send the answers to you, okay? No recuerdo si se recuerda que una vez estábamos viendo esa parte y alguien mencionó yeah. de eso. Yeah. Entonces, de hecho sí, 
eh, hay un inconveniente con esas respuestas. Entonces, eh, Maurice, lo que voy a hacer es lo siguiente. Eh, le voy a mandar, permítame, le voy a mandar, le voy a mandar qué tiene, qué tiene que poner ahí. Va, ok. Eh, vaya, ese es el primero, supongo que tiene, que tiene dudas. ¿Tiene algún otro que tiene dudas? No, only this, because I, I have a, a 28% de the platform, only this question. Es una, ¿Y solamente es la número dos o es todas las cinco? No, solo la número dos. Ah, ok. Entonces, lo que, Entonces, tiene, que, lo que tiene que eh, poner es esto. Perdón, este, lo que usted mencionó, uh -huh. aquí dice que había que agregar en no. Mm. Yo, yo puse eh, all, all product for a no feature and benefit. Malo. Yes. Lo, lo cambié. Uh -huh. Malo. No, Maurice. Sí, no, no se lo puse y malo. Sí, no, Maurice, pero no tiene que ponerle no. Tiene que ponerle lo siguiente. Offer great features and benefits. Offer great. Great. Oh, okay, great, ok. Puede ponerlo en este momento para ver si se lo acepta. Offers. Offer, sin la S. Offer. Okay. Offer. Great. 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 Features. Uh, feature. And benefit. And benefit. Point. Sí. And point. point. Yes, period. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, okay. Perfect. It's correct. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Do you Thank have you. any Thank question? You. You're welcome. No. Any other doubt? No. No. Bye. Perfect, Maris. Sí. Okay, Maris. Thank you. Okay, so I hope to see you back tomorrow. Good night, Maris. Take care. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.